Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel, Summer the Official. In this video, you will learn about how to model a screw spindle part from a screw jack assembly using KTF V5 part design using commands like axis, profile, constraint, shaft, hole, circle, pocket, helix, plane, centered rectangle and slot. Open KTF V5 interface, start mechanical design, part design. So click on YZ plane, click on sketch, okay. go to tools, options, parameters and measurements, uh, check whether it is in millimeters or not, click on millimeters, click OK, click on axis line. Check for this uh, blue line, click here, drag and click. So now click on the profile, click here, select and drag, click. And drag click 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 on this press escape escape so now give the dimensions uh, select this line select this line select constraint double click on this this is 22 by 2 22 by 2 enter now select this line click on constraint double click The value is 13, 1, 3. Press enter. Okay. Again. Select this line. Select this line. Click on constraint. Select this. Double click on this. Double click on this. 83 press enter again and drag this okay now select this select this point click on constraint right click Vertical measurement, double click on this, enter 10. Okay, again, select this, select this control, select this point, click on constraint, right click, horizontal measure direction, double click on this, 10, enter. Uh, select this point, press control, select this point, click on constraint, right click, horizontal measure direction, double click, 10, enter. Total height is 240, select this, select this, click on constraint, double click on this, 240, press enter. Fit in all, select this and you can drag this axis line. Select this, select the constraint, and double click on this. 
thirty eight by two. Press enter. Select this axis line. Select this line. Click on constraint. Double click on this. Sixty five by two. Press enter. Select this axis. Select this line. Click on constraint. Double click on this. Eighty-three by two. Press enter. Green color indicates your. Whole drawing is constrained. Okay, now exit workbench. Click on revolve or shaft. Click on shaft. Three sixty degree centigrade. Click on OK. Okay. Fit in all. Select the surface. Click on hole. And diameter of hole is twelve mm. Depth of the hole is thirty-five mm. Type is countersunk. Depth and angle. Uh, So you just change as angle and diameter. Angle is the ninety, and diameter is fourteen point five. Fourteen point five. Click on OK. Go to the thread definition. Uh, if you want any uh, thread, click on threaded. Thread diameter is thirteen point two mm. Uh, hole diameter is twelve mm. Uh, thread depth is uh, thread depth is of thirty mm. Hole depth is thirty five mm. Pitch is one mm. Okay. Uh, right threaded. Click on OK. So you can see the hole is created. So now uh, go to start shape. Go to start shape. Generate to shape design. Click on this. so you can see uh, spline helix uh, select helix starting point right click create point select here okay point on curve 
click on OK. Access right click, select Z axis. Uh, pitch here is 7 mm, height is 150. So orientation is clockwise. Okay. Click on OK. Now you can see this helix is created. Now uh, select plane, click on plane. The drop down menu, normal to curve. Select this curve, click on OK. Default, you select this point. Click on OK. Select this plane. Go to sketch a workbench. Click on centered rectangle. Select this rectangle. Select this constraint. Escape. Select constraint. Select this. Double click. This is uh, pitch by 2, pitch you have given 7, 7 by 2, enter, select this, click on constraint, 7 by 2, press enter, so you can zoom it. Select this point, press control, select this point, click on constraint, right click, coincidence. Okay. Now exit workbench. Start mechanical design, part design. Click on slot. Center curve, select this helix. So in this, uh, select pulling direction. Selection, select this. Access, click on OK. Okay. Fit in all, click on isometric. Select this plane, right click, hide. Okay. Isometric view, fit in all. Select YZ plane. Okay. Click on sketch a workbench. Select circle. Click here. And drag, click, click on constraint, diameter, 
डबल क्लिक ट्वेल्व एंटर सेलेक्ट दिस सेंटर प्रेस कंट्रोल सेलेक्ट दिस लाइन सेलेक्ट द कंस्ट्रेन डबल क्लिक ऑन दिस एंटर थर्टी फाइव एंटर ओके क्लिक ऑन एग्जिट वर्क बेंच क्लिक ऑन पॉकेट सेलेक्ट द डायमेंशन क्लिक ऑन मिरर द एक्सटेंट द डायमेंशन इज सिक्सटी फाइव बाई टू क्लिक ऑन प्रिव्यू क्लिक ऑन ओके ओके सो यू कैन सी क्लिक ऑन फिट इन ऑल क्लिक ऑन आइसोमेट्रिक व्यू ओके थैंक यू